Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of my YouTube channel. Today I have for you another Some Odd Girl image called Snow Tia and I will have uh, her link down below as well as over on my blog and on my blog post I will also have all the Copic markers uh, listed out for you. Um, for the skin though I am using E04, E11, E21, and E00 and for her cheeks I will use R20. And so I started out, I kind of quickly map in uh, my dark areas with the E00, and then I start from darkest uh, to lightest on the skin. And I'll go in with the E04, then the E11, E21, the 00, and then I'll put the cheeks in with the R20 and go back over it with the 00. So here I am with doing the cheeks. And if there's multiple areas of skin showing, you know, like arms and legs and things, I will just do one area at a time. Uh, that way I make sure I get good blends. On the hair, I'm using the E40 family. I uh, have the 43, 44, 47, and 49. And I'll just use some different flicking motions and I will kind of follow the lines that are in the hair uh, as well as the putting a few extra uh, little flicks and lines in there. And that area behind her shoulder there, that'll be mostly dark because uh, that'll be mostly uh, in the shadow. And I'll just show a little bit of highlight, you know, on those uh, edges down at the bottom, but and then the bangs up at the top. And I'll just go back and forth. I think I did lightest to darkest, darkest to lightest on the hair. So sorry about that light right there. It's been so hard trying to adjust my lights with the uh, glass uh, craft mat. I, I do love the glass mat because it's such easy cleanup and everything. You can do just about anything on it and it just cleans right up. But the lights just glare really badly in it. But that light currently is not working because the puppy chewed the cord in two. So I'm going to have to see if my husband can uh, fix that for me uh, because it does have a tendency to be a little dark, especially on lately we had had mostly cloudy days, although we are in a little stretch. We're having a lot of sunny days here in North Texas, which has been such a nice change because we've had such rainy weather. Um, and during those rainy cloudy days I really needed all three lights that I have to give a, a good overall lighting for my projects um, but I uh, am down this one light right now so I'm uh, sorry for that little glare but hopefully that's not too distracting but yeah the puppy is a chewer way more so than the than Lucy our other older dog uh, she would she went through a little phase of chewing when she was a puppy, but not near like Ethel. She She's a major, major chewer. And uh, although her potty training is getting better, thank God. I'm so tired of cleaning up puppy messes. And we're about a week and a half away from final shots. So she will be uh, going outside. And I remember that was really when the... Lucy chain, turned a corner and her potty training was was when she got to go outside and so I'm really hoping that that is you know makes the difference with Ethel as well. So you saw me color the coat and I used the BG family of 15, 57, and 9 was the combination I used for that. Her eyes I did a B2, 4, and 5 and I'm just doing a little cleanup here and there uh, as I go along. And let's see, there her uh, boots. I decided to use the C family, the cool grays. I did five, seven, and nine. The darkest on the little soles and just doing a little bit of a lighter gray on the rest of the boot. And then for the fluffy top on the boots, I'm going to do a C, 0, and 3. Now the boot that's 
kicked up in the back the little fluffy top has the the lines in it for the to show the kind of fluffy top and the one down below did not so I did get out my Copic multi-liner in a point three and I just added those little lines uh, in just to give it a little uh, continuity and to show that that is the little fluffy top too and and I just kind of did some little stippling on there to kind of with the C3 just to kind of give it a little bit of a fluffiness look. So I thought that turned out uh, really well. I liked, I was real pleased with the way that looked. And so I decided to use pink for her accessories. And let's see, those pinks were um, RV21, 13, 4, and 6. So I just wanted to give it give this a kind of a soft but uh, uh, color palette and that it blends real well with the colored card stocks that I'm going to use on the rest of this card. I really have been enjoying coloring these images from some odd girl. Um, I'm really excited to be on the design team for the first part of this year. I think it's January through June that I get to be on the design team and hopefully continue uh, beyond that because these images are, are so much fun to color and Christy is such a very talented artist and she is constantly coming out with new images. This year she's doing uh, Zodiac images so every month of the year she will have a new uh, image with that will be Z Zodiac theme. And during the month, like this is January and Capricorn, it is a free download for everybody. Um, but once you pass January, then, you know, there's a cost for it. And then in the February one, the Aquarius, it will be a free download during the month of February and so on. So those are really cute. And what a great way to get started in the uh, Some Odd Girl images with a freebie. And uh, like I said, everything is just really cute. She's a very talented artist. And it's been a lot of fun. And so this was my project that I actually posted on their Facebook community, I think two Fridays ago, I post on Fridays on the Facebook community. And then once a month, I do the blog post. And so um, my blog post is going to come out, I th think tomorrow. Yes, I think tomorrow, my first blog post is going to come out tomorrow, uh, which is January 26th, I believe. And so I'm excited for that. That's my first blog post, and it is a Valentine's card, and it's the image is Love Me Not May, and so I'm super proud of it. So if you have time, go to the someoddgirl.com and click on the blog and check out my blog post for this week. I, I would appreciate that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the background of this card. I've got the Simon Says Stamped Falling Snow Stencil. This came out um, last year or the year before, but it's still available. And um, it's always a, a favorite during the winter. So now would be a great time to, I mean, actually during the December months. Uh, so now would be a great time to get that if you like it because it's back in stock, I believe. Um, and I used this... Um, paste that I'd gotten after Christmas last year. I found it on clearance um, at Michael's. It's a Recollections glossy and it was okay. Um, I do think I like the Ranger texture paste better, um, but it was all right and the price was right. So I always like to look in the clearance section and see what kind of deals I can find. So the slopes are the Simon Says Stamp. Uh, see the stitched slopes and heels and the back layer is flat onto the cardstock and then the I popped the front layer up with a one layer of foam tape and I used a little BB20 to go along the edge and on some of the bigger dots of the snow and I'm now I'm taking some Nuvo white blizzard and just going along the edge just to give that snow a little glittery look and uh, also on the snow around uh, Tia that comes on the image, I put a little dabbed a little BB20, and now I'm dabbing it with the white blizzard. And I just uh, fussy cut that 
image out, but I went to my brother's scan and cut, but I couldn't get the snow to cut out the way I wanted it. So I just ended up uh, fussy cutting that out, but it, it wasn't too bad. And so uh, just to give her scarf and earmuffs some sparkle, I added the Nouveau Aqua Shimmer in the Glitter Gloss, which is basically the clear. And I'm going to put a layer of glossy accents over that. I really like to put some type of uh, glitter down, whether, whether it's the Aqua uh, by Nouveau or Wink Estella or the Spectrum Noir, and then put the glossy accents over the top. It really, really makes it, that glitter stand out. So um, I'm using, that was on the Surf Blue, and um, I can't, the other one is a Simon Says Stamp cardstock too, but I'll have a link down below. I can't remember the name of it. And I just used a heart uh, embossing uh, folder that I had. That one's no longer available. I did link one down below, but it's not the, ex the exact same. Okay, now here's where I'm going to have a do as I say, not as I do moment. I put um, Tombow on that, and because of the embossing, it just didn't give enough stick. I'd use a liquid adhesive or a score tape or something on that. Don't, don't use a thin tape runner like I did. All right, now my little sentiment. I printed that out on my toner uh, printer and then foiled that, and so to give that a nice shiny little look too. And now I'm going to just add the highlights in her eyes with a white Jelly Roll pen. And then I decided to go back over the black parts of her eyes and her coat buttons with the black glaze pen by Sakura. So that's going to finish off that card. And here's a final look. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.